Remember OP skins? If you do, you're probably part of the huge traffic the site once had. OP skins was the go-to place to buy and sell Steam related skins, but mainly CSGO skins. When Valve started taking action against gambling sites, thousands of bot accounts making trades using the Steam API got banned. OP skins was definitely one of the biggest sites taking a hit by losing their inventory, which were skins of their customers. In today's video, we're taking a look at an old Reddit thread from June 21st, 2018. In this thread, the user Artemis compiled a list of all the banned OP skins bot accounts and calculated its value. There's a variety of banned items spread throughout 2,884 bot accounts owned by OP skins. 2,843 out of the 2,884 bot accounts have CSGO skins in them. The total amount of banned items is just over 1.5 million. Now I personally might not have 1.5 million in skins, but my skins are not banned at least, and that is why I'm giving them away to you guys. On my website BetRefs, which is now BetRefs.gg, you can open up a free case every 24 hours. The only catch is that you have to have BetRefs.gg in your Steam name. That's it for the plug, I hope you check out the website, but let's continue with the video. In 2018, the 1.5 million items were valued at about $2 million. But as trading has progressed and prices have gone up since then, that $2 million does not do justice anymore. There were a few worth mentioning skins listed in the Reddit thread, but I decided to take the task upon me and look through 55 of their top accounts and list all of the skins that are worth mentioning. I have not gone through all of the 2800 plus accounts, so if you want to go ahead and look through more of these accounts to potentially find gem items or very rare items, I will leave all of the links mentioned about this in the description below, and if you find something insane or super cool, let me know in the comments down below. The average price of these accounts that I looked at was about $3000, but this was in 2018 and the prices have changed a lot from back then. Most of these accounts valued at $3,000 have at least doubled in price by now, or even double and a half. Therefore, the $2 million listed in the Reddit thread is not accurate anymore, and I would value the banned items at around four to $5 million. Obviously, I'm putting $5 million in the title for the clickbait. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these items, which consist of contraband, Katowice 2014 items, stickers, and a shitload of extremely high tier items. I want to start by taking a look at the most expensive account I could find. As you can see over here, this account has one M4A4 HAL Factory New, six AWP Dragon Lores, five Statrak M9 Bayonet Fades, six M9 Bayonet Tiger Tooths, one Statrak M9 Bayonet Slaughter, one Glock Fade, and some other smaller knives. From the six AWP Dragon Lores, three of them are Battle Scarred, two are factory new and one is well worn. As all of these skins are next to each other in the OP skins inventory, I highly think that this is actually a deposit done by one player, depositing all his high tier items. The total value of these items is around $33,609. So let's get on to the Katowice 2014 items that are lost. Starting off with the Katowice 2014 Challengers capsule, which obviously includes the Katowice 2014 stickers. This sells for $4,500. Obviously, the Katowice's are very rare and especially these capsules as they're going extinct. You can't get them anymore and once they're open, they're gone. Some stickers that I've found are the NIP Hollow Katowice 2014, selling at $1,100. Hellraiser's Hollow Katowice 2014, selling for $5,000. Then three stickers in the same inventory, probably also sold by one seller, including the Reason Gaming Hollow Katowice 2014, selling at $18,000. LGB Esports Hollow Katowice 2014 selling at $3,750 and the Vox Eminor Hollow Katowice 2014 selling for 10.5k. I also found another Vox Eminor Hollow Katowice 2014 in another inventory also selling for $10,500 and I found a Titan Hollow Katowice 2014 in another inventory for $20,000. I also found a Team Dignitas Hollow Katowice 2014 selling for $7,250. Also a 3D Max Hollow Katowice 2014 selling for $1,400. That's it for the stickers, let's get on to the weapons with stickers applied to them. The first skin we're looking at is an Op Electric Hive Minimal Wear with a Team Dignitas Hollow Katowice 2014 on the worst position. Because the sticker is on the worst position, this op's valued at $300. Next up is an AK-47 Case Hardened Factory New. There's a Titan Hollow Katowice 2014 on there and also a Team Dignitas Hollow Katowice 2014. This pattern is nothing special, but the value of this AK is around $1,000. Next up is a Statrak AK-47 Jaguar Minimal Wear with an iBuyPower Katowice 2014 non-hollow. 
The value of this AK is $500. The next one is an AK-47 Fire Serpent, field tested, with a Vox Aminor Hollow, Katowice 2014, and a Fnatic Katowice 2014 non-hollow. There's a Ninjas in Pajamas Hollow, Katowice 2015 on there. The total value of this AK is $1,000. The next item is an AUB Redline, field tested, with a ESL Wolf Foil, Katowice 2014, Titan Katowice 2014 non-hollow, and a Fnatic Katowice 2014 non-hollow. Total value of this AUB Redline is $150. That's it for the Katowice items that i could find also a shout out to dreps at dreps underscore on twitter for helping me price these items next up we're taking a look at the contraband items starting with a stat track m4a4 howl factory new with a hauling down sticker on it total value of this m4a4 is eleven thousand dollars the price would be higher if the float was better but it's 0.66 which is actually just factory new so yeah it's pretty shitty next up we have a stat track m4a4 howl minimal wear Current value $4,500. The float's actually kind of funny because it's 0 0.1738, but Fetty Wap is pretty much as irrelevant as these accounts are. So let's move on to the next one, which is a M4A4 Hall factory new. And after that, we have a minimal wear hall, another minimal wear hall, another minimal wear hall, and another two minimal wear hauls. You'd probably expect another minimal wear haul, but the next one is field tested. And then after that field tested one, there's three more field tested ones in one inventory. All of their pricings were on screen. I just wanted to go through them quick. And to end this contraband list, we're taking a look at the M4A4 haul in a minimal wear condition, an Ob Dragon Lore minimal wear, and a Stat Track Karamid Slaughter minimal wear, all deposited in one inventory in one row. So probably deposited by one owner. Total value $8,000. As I just named some high tier items and not contraband items like the Ob Dragon Lore and the Stat Trek Karambit Slaughter, let's move on to the high tier item list. The highest tier items in this list is a Stat Trek Karambit Crimson Web Factory New, currently valued at $7,250, float value 0.068 pattern 323 the pattern is nothing special but a stat track factory new crimson web is always rare and we have another stat track factory new crimson web they're next to each other in a steam inventory which means they're probably deposited by one person and this is a stat track m9 bayonet crimson web factory new with a 0.069 float it would almost be funny if the pattern was 420 but it's 476 this m9 bayonet crimson web sells for 4400 dollars the next high tier item is a stat track ak-47 fire Fire Serpent Factory New. Float value 0.069, pattern 637, currently valued at $5,000. On to some interesting knives. We're taking a look at all of the gem knives that I found in these bot inventories. Starting off with the Stat Track Butterfly Knife Sapphire Factory New, selling for $8,500. Up next is an M9 Bayonet Doppler Sapphire Factory New, selling for $7,750. Float value 0.0078. Up next is a Karambit Doppler Sapphire Factory New, selling for $5,500 at a float value of 0.11. After that, we have an M9 Bayonet Doppler Ruby Factory New, and another one, both selling for $4,500 each. Once again, guys, if you want any of this information, it is found in the description of this video. Up next, we have two more rubies, one being a Flip Knife Doppler Ruby, valued at $1,400, and after that, a Bayonet Doppler Ruby valued at $2,500. That was it for the rubies and the gem knives. Let's take a look at the gloves. Because I also found three pairs of gloves in these inventories. And at that time, gloves were not that common yet. The first pair of gloves being Specialist Gloves Crimson Kimono Minimal Wear, selling for $1,600. After that, we have the Specialist Gloves Emerald Web Factory New, selling for $2,800. These are also the most expensive pair I could find. And after that, we have the Sport Gloves Vice Minimal Wear selling for $2,200. I'm going through them quick because we still have a lot of high tier items to go through, which we're on to now. Just the high tier items that are worth mentioning. So I found a Bayonet Lore Factory New valued at $960. Also an Ob Drangalore Minimal Wear selling for $4,400, and an Ob Drangalore field tested, selling for $3,000. Then in one inventory, all in one row, I found five Ob Drangalores field tested. They're selling for $2,500 each, with a combined value of $12,500. Obviously, as they're in one row of a Steam inventory, this was probably deposited by just one person. Up next, we have a M4A1S Knight Factory New, valued at $1,200. After that, we have a Stat Track Bayonet Gamma Doppler Phase 1 Factory New. This one sells for $650. Up next is a Stat Track Butterfly Knife Fade Factory New. This one sells for $1,200. 
And after that, we have a Statrak Grambit Marble Fade, number one of two, because there's two of these, both selling for $950. Right here, we have a Souvenir M4A1S Knight Factory New. This one only sells for $700, and the non-souvenir one sells for $1,200. This is because the souvenir ones you cannot use in a trade-up for the Ob Dragon Lore. Last but not least, for all my weeaboo viewers, and let me know what your favorite anime is in the comments down below, by the way, because I'm looking for a new one. This is the Og Akihabara Accept, and it sells for $4,000, factory new. So, actually didn't know this skin was that expensive, but... I might buy it in the future as a meme. Factory new, 4,000 bucks. Hey, I might just drop, I might just drop four racks on that. Anyways, guys, I went over the skins pretty quickly. Hopefully it didn't get too repetitive, but it's just a lot of things that I wanted to go over. And I put a lot of time into finding all of these items. I went through the top 55 bot accounts that were banned. And these are the items that I found. The links are in the description. So if you want to go ahead and look for yourself, perhaps you'll find some more interesting items after the 55. Or maybe I missed some in the first 55. Let me know in the comments down below if you do end up finding something interesting because I really want to know. So that wraps it up for today's video. If you're still watching, I want you to drop a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more skin related content. Also, if you have an idea for a video in the future regarding skins, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you.